First off, before anyone shreds me in the comments, this is just supposed to be a fun video for my channel. I was bored today. I wanted to do something. I've thought of doing this idea before. Uh, this is a 12-team parlay where I bet on heavy favorites just on the money line and try and win. No, it's not a good betting strategy. It's just something fun that I'm doing. I'm putting $100 on it. If I win, I'll do it again next week for how, you know for however much I win. So this is a 12-team parlay, two college basketball games that are happening tonight. This is all money line, by the, by the way, guys, all money line. The team just has to win. 12-team parlay, two college basketball games tonight, nine college football games on Saturday, and then one NFL game on Sunday. Last week's NFL upsets really scarred me. I didn't know which you know NFL games to pick, so I'm just doing one. But again... It's not betting, you know, advice. This is just a fun video. See if I can win a 12-team parlay where you just bet on all of the heavy favorites and use the multiplier, and I'll show you guys what this parlay looks like. So the number one first leg of this 12-team parlay, it's Wake Forest money line versus Western Carolina. Wake Forest is at home tonight versus Western Carolina, minus 1,600. I don't know when the time, I think this is probably like a 7 o'clock game. This is just one of those, I think Wake Forest is like a 19 point favorite. I wanted to throw some college basketball in there just for fun. And then we have Oklahoma State money line versus Oakland. That is also, also minus 1,600. My thought process with these two games, I thought, you know, there were other other college games like Kentucky versus Robert Morris, Ohio State playing, but, the, you know, those money lines were like minus 2,000, minus 2,500. I thought these gave me a little bit more bang for my buck where I think Wake Forest and Oklahoma State are basically guaranteed to win. I'll be honest with you guys, when it comes to this early in the season, these college basketball games where a mid-major team is facing a bigger opponent. Normally, each night, if there's enough games, you're always going to get one or two upsets. Like, I think UC Riverside beat Arizona State by one point last night. It's basically Russian roulette. You just got to pick the games. I don't think Oklahoma State's going to get upset against Oakland, and I don't think Wake Forest is going to get upset uh, against Western Carolina. Both of those, I think Oklahoma State might be like 20 point favorites. I don't know exactly, but just both money lines, both of those games are tonight. Let's move on to the college football games. We have Utah money line at Arizona. I love Utah. Utah, I think, is 24-point favorites. And, guys, people are actually starting to ruin it, kind of like they ruined the whole Nebraska thing. I was one of the first people to say Nebraska is better than their record. Then everyone started doing it, and it just, it just kind of ruined it, whatever. But a few weeks ago, I think it was around three weeks ago, I said, listen, I'm guaranteeing Utah is going to beat Oregon. And now other people are starting to say it, too. They're kind of ruining it, but I love this Utah team. You just take a money line, whatever. They're going to beat Arizona. Arizona, shout out to them. They got their first win in their last, like, 17 attempts last weekend against Cal. They used some great defense to win that game 10-3. to But again, we're just going in on the money line. Utah's around a 24-point favorite here. I don't really have an opinion on if they're going to cover the 24-point spread. They probably will because Arizona's offense is terrible, but they are going on the road. I'll just take a money line. Thank you very much. Number four, Western Kentucky money line at Rice. I love Western Kentucky this week. At, this week. Uh, they score a ton. And you think, I think they're minus 18 overall against Rice. That was in one of my best bet videos. Rice is horrific. I can pretty much lock in Western Western Kentucky to score at least 45 points in this game, meaning you know they would have to allow around 20. You get the easy cover minus 18. I'll just take a money line though. This is a 12 team parlay. We can't have all this different stuff to happen. Uh, by the way, uh, Utah is minus 2800 on money line. Western Kentucky is minus 1600. Number five, Appalachian State money line versus South Alabama. That's minus 2100. Appalachian State, one of the hottest teams in college football right now, guys. If you don't know, start paying attention. Appalachian State, I predicted this, predicted this a few weeks ago. I said they would finish the regular season ranked, win it, you know, going 10 and 2, winning out. South Alabama is terrible. I think they're around 22 and a half point favorites at home against South Alabama. That's an easy addition to my 12 team parlay. That's an easy win, folks. What are we doing here? Minus 2100. Number six. This is a little dicey. Little. I'm getting a little risky here. What, Virginia Tech, the money line. They're at home against the terrible Duke team. A little bit nervous, right? Only 470, minus 470. But Duke is just so awful. I don't, Virginia Tech, they struggle to score. They've had some injuries at the quarterback position, but you're at home and you're facing a a terrible team. You just got to will home a victory. I think they're 11 and a half point favorites right now around there. I would not feel comfortable betting the spread, but this is the 12 team parlay. This is a risky one. Minus 470. It's risky. This is a 
Virginia Tech, though, Duke is so bad. The reason I put this one in here is because I just have no confidence in Duke winning, especially winning on the road. Give me Virginia Tech money line at home. Uh, Georgia money line at Tennessee. It's just undeniable what Georgia has done. This, the, by the way, these odds are horrific. This, this in this Georgia game, this is a 3:30 CBS game. Tennessee's a hostile environment. No, I don't think Tennessee's going to win. But minus 1400. The only reason I have this game in here is because it's part of my 12-team parlay, and I think there's no chance Georgia's going to lose. But the odds are still horrible. You're going into a hostile environment, a big crowd, and you're minus 1400. That is a terrible bet. I'm saying, guys, don't make these bets. It's just a fun thing I'm doing right now. 12-team parlay. But, again, it's undeniable what Georgia's doing. Their defense. It, you know, you take all these five stars, you put them together. They literally have 10 five stars on defense. I've never seen something like it. Um, and you will see how many points they allow this week. They see they're, they're giving up an average of, like, six points a game. It's getting crazy at this point. Tennessee and Hayden, and Hayden Hooker playing well. We'll have to see how that matchup ends up going. Number eight, Ohio State Moneyline versus Purdue. A lot of people surprised when this spread opened at Ohio State minus 20, and I was too, and I thought for sure. I actually, I think the spread opened at minus 19, and, and it got bet up to minus 20. And like on Monday, I said, this spread's going to go down. People are going to throw money on Purdue. The spread is now minus 21 Ohio State. Uh, I have Ohio State covering this in this game versus Purdue, but they're certainly not losing. They are 100% a complete lock to win this game against Purdue. We know what happened back in 2017 when Purdue won, you know, or was oh, 2018, that was the Dwayne Haskins year. Purdue won 49 to 20. That's not going to happen. Ohio State knows about that game. Uh, Purdue's won some big games recently. But again, they're, they're not sneak up, sneaking up on Ohio State. Ohio State knows Purdue. They're, they know they're capable of winning some big games. This Purdue offense is impressive. I like it. This is going to be the game of the day, 3.30, 3.30 game. I have Ohio State winning this game. 52 to 28, higher scoring game. The Buckeyes, maybe Trevion Henderson, 300 rushing yards. That's my bold prediction. Trevion Henderson, Ryan Day, get back to running the football. Get, they show light boxes like Nebraska did, run the football. Trevion Henderson, run blocking. Ohio State needs to improve their run blocking, but they're a complete lock to win this game on the money line. Number nine, we've got Kentucky money line at Vanderbilt. Really, this is one not much needs to be said. Kentucky's a 21-point favorite. Vanderbilt, you know, they, they've gotten a little hot recently, right? They've gotten a little hot recently. They're not the worst team in Power 5. That goes to Kansas, who's a 30-point underdog at Texas this week. But they're, the, I think, the clear second-worst team. You could argue maybe Arizona. You know what? Let's not disrespect Arizona. Let's not disrespect Arizona after they got their big win last week. I think Vanderbilt's the clear second-worst team in Power 5 behind only Kansas. Kentucky's going to win this game. The only question is, are they going to cover the 21-point spread? I think they cover that. That was in my best bets, best bets video earlier this week. Number 10, we've got Fresno State money line versus New Mexico. Fresno State coming off a really bad loss. I keep forgetting who Fresno State lost to last week, but I just remember it being a bad loss. New Mexico is terrible. Uh, this is minus 3,000, so this is basically a complete lock uh, when it comes to the money line. Fresno State at home trying to get back on track. I don't have really much of an analysis on this game other than New Mexico is horrible, although I will say they are better than New Mexico State, their arch rival who faces... Alabama this week. Alabama 51 and a half point favorites, I think. Maybe that line moved a little, I don't know, uh, against New Mexico State. And number 11, so number 11 out of 12, it is the NFL game that I'm throwing in there. And I'll talk about this for a little bit. So Cowboys, money line versus Falcons, that's minus 460. I really wanted to include multiple NFL games. There were definitely options. I mean, you've got Pittsburgh at home against Detroit. That seems like a lot. You've got the Colts at home against... Um, the Jaguars, you have the Bills going to New York to face the Jets, but it's just like, you know, I was concerned about that Pittsburgh offense. I think they're going to beat, you know, the Lions, but it's to me, the Lions are not an 0-16, 0-17 type team. They're going to get an upset win that surprises people. Not saying it's going to be against Pittsburgh, but I was kind of thrown off that game. Indianapolis, to me, is a little too streaky with their offense. The Jaguars got a big win last week, so I'm not doing that. And then uh, the Bills, the Bills shocked me last week losing to the Jaguars. They go to New York. Mike White is starting. I think the Bills bounce back, but I'm not 100% confident in it. So the only game I'm going with is the Cowboys money line versus the Falcons. It just seems like the Cowboys are putting everything into the regular season. They're coming off a really bad loss at home to Denver where their offense played terrible. The Falcons aren't that good. I know the Falcons got a big win last week against the Saints, but you're facing Trevor Simeon. Let's not overreact, folks. Cowboys seems like a lock to me. 
get the win. I think they cover the spread. I, ha I have them scoring about 38 points. Their offense is going to get back on track. You've got Amari Cooper. You've got CeeDee Lamb. You've got Zeke. Dak Prescott's one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. That's why I'm going. That, that's why I only have one NFL game. Last week really scarred me with the NFL. I think Pittsburgh's going to beat the, the the Lions again, but it's just like they have such a bad offense. The Bills, they were really bad last week. You think they're going to bounce back like Dallas, but it's just like I have more faith in this Dallas offense. So I'm just going to be taking them at home against the Falcons. And then my 12th bet, this game's happening tonight. I added this one late. It is Boise State Moneyline versus Wyoming, minus 613. Boise State's, I think, 14-point favorites. That's a lock, by the way. Boise State is unbelievable. They are one of the top 10 teams right now in college football. If you don't know about Boise State, I am a self-proclaimed Boise State betting expert. I've picked them to win games outright when they were six-point favorites twice this year, when they were six-point underdogs twice this year. I am one of the biggest Boise State experts when it comes to these games. They're going to cover the 14 points against Wyoming. I respect Wyoming's defense. I respect the way they play. I like those Mountain West teams, but give me Boise State in this game to cover the 14-point spread. They're at home. You got that blue field Friday night, 930 Eastern. I love it. I love the vibes. I think they score 38 points tonight. That is the overall 12-team parlay. So when you look at it, the two ones that would be dicey would be the Virginia Tech money line versus Duke and then the Cowboys money line versus the Falcons. No, I do not think this parlay is going to win because it's sports and something weird happens and one of these teams is going to lose. But this is just something fun I wanted to do. There you can take a look at the odds. I couldn't fit it all in, so it's risk 100, win 189. It's just horrific odds for a 12-team parlay, but that's the fun of it. And if I do win this parlay, I'll have $289.72, and then I'll use that to bet my next 12-team parlay next week. And then if I win that, I'll use the winnings I got from that and bet the next one, and we'll just keep going. I don't think I'm going to win this one. 12 teams is ridiculous. It's just a fun video, something I wanted to do where you multiply all the heavy favorites in a parlay, and you see if you can win. Um, so that's just what I wanted to do, guys. 12-team parlay, college football week 11, NFL week 12, college basketball opening weekend. We got some crazy stuff going on right now, guys, but make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.